people of the verse, hello and welcome to the channel. It's the Eradicator with the community today. As once more, I am live here. Why am I doing live streams? Well, that's because that's because Google is actually asking me to pay <laughs> to make videos. So uh, if I do live streams, then uh, they like it a little bit much. Speaking of that, I wanted to, be, to give a big shout out to uh, Junior Barnes and Toref of Astoria for becoming my latest join members. Literally, with Google making me pay to create content, you guys are really the ones who keep this show running. So thank you very much. Yeah, right? <laughs> they actually make me pay. I pay to make videos. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm going to show you uh, your message Simon. Yeah, I know it's crazy, right? <laughs> so let's have a look at what this star system of a 3.11.1 is because it is on the PTU It is live right now and let's have a look first at some of the new features here Interlac Intergalactic Aerospace Expo interior the IAE 2950 will take place on Microtech in the new Babbage landing zone and is accessible by taking one of the trimlines. What do you mean one of the trimlines? Are there more than one trimlines now? I thought there was only one. Next, uh, feature gameplay. They increase the length of time a player has to accept or deny a press charge notification. I thought it was already quite long. Uh, I mean, every time I killed someone and then press charge, I was like, ah, I'm not going to get a crime stat. Yes. And then eventually, like, after one minute, I'm getting a crime stat. I was like, oh man. So now it's going to make, that's going to be even longer, right? It's crazy. Uh, next, uh, updated FPS mining edge. You need to use drop shadows to use dynamic brightness to make more visible again bright backdrops. I see. Why, says Moon Shadow? Well, uh, Apparently, they think that I have that I have invalid traffic. That's what they've been because uh, I've, I've been contacting them by mail back and forth. I mean, I send so much emails that they don't even reply to me anymore. And they said that I have invalid traffic. They send me these links like, "Oh, you have invalid traffic because some bots are watching the channel, or you click on your own ads." Or I don't click on my own ads, <laughs> and I, I and, and I don't have bots watching the channel either because I know you guys are commenting. We are interacting via the comment section. I know that you guys are watching because we talk about it. So it's not that either and I'm not the only content creator who has this problem so it's probably uh, a bug uh, and uh, yeah they're asking me to pay that's crazy I mean, it's just it's just a tenth of a cent but still the symbol is is is, is mind blowing and let's have a look also at the major bugs here in this star is at 3.11.1 Ground vehicles should no longer roll off all through planet surface when powered on. That's so funny because I have seen, uh, I, I, I watched actually uh, Salty Mike's live stream yesterday, and this is exactly what he was, what happened in his live stream. Uh, he and a couple of friends completely filled some rocks with Haydenites, and then when the when the rocks were full, they started rolling on the surface of the planet <laughs> for absolutely no reason. And this is a bug that apparently is fixed here in Star Citizen about 3.11. Purchasing oxy pens and med pens from the shelf would not correctly place them into the player's personal inventory. I thought that this was a bug that was supposed to be fixed. Apparently it's coming back. Uh, Multi-tools bought at the prison commissary should now correctly have the mining attachment. Right. Hallelujah! Prisons being a little bit less borked. That is good because I have been sent to prison quite a bit it starts as over 3.11 and I gotta say that prisons definitely need some love. Vehicles should no longer slide, move on planet service when powered on. The players should no longer be able to fire missiles and destroy other players on landing pads at port or while, uh, while outside of the green zone. Junior Burns is here with a brand new eradicator tag. How are you doing Junior Burns? I was just talking about you uh, just a few minutes ago. <laughs> uh, next, don't worry uh, Simon, we will keep on making content thanks to people like Junior burns because uh, you know they're they're paying to to get, literally to get this channel running so i don't want to let them down next uh only on youtube and not twitch uh so uh twitch i'm using twitch for live uh for for live gameplay channels and for news and and gameplay that is not live i'm still using uh, YouTube. Uh, next, what do we have after that? Fix an issue that was causing ships in Arena Commander to be not customizable. How about our loadout in Arena Commander CIG? Is it fixed as well? Because I'm not seeing anything here in that Star Citizen 3.11 patch note. Models on character customizer should no longer stand in an A pose until selected. Uh, stow option should now function constantly when FPS mining and picking up gems. The Azop 
landing pad location should now display correctly after spawning your ship. The missile range should now uh, update correctly when swapping missile types and have reduced minimum and maximum range. A prospector mining area should no longer be oversized. <laughs> I wish I had seen that. The Aegis Reclaimer bunk bed door should no longer trap the player when laying down. The Earth's are rover turret names in the vehicle loader manager should no longer be string ID placeholder text. Clover's down elite position should no longer shift slightly during certain animations. The ground vehicles should now be able to be spun at Lorville Gate 05. First notification of the die should no longer be empty. Admiral Grofus is here too. How are you doing, Admiral Grofus? <laughs> Admiral Grofus also having that shiny eradicators tag. Uh, mousing over an item in the inventory should no longer indicate how much capacity that, that item is taking up. Uh, okay. Uh, player calling a pilot now correctly sees a player in the pilot seat. Member uh, list you I should now correctly animate when player is speaking and the text color in the mobile glass should no longer reset when leaving and reopening the chat window they fixed eight client crashes four server questions once again where are we getting those patch notes from this is from uh, spectrum actually uh, generals Morrison you can find those on spectrum under the patch note section of spectrum literally we still have a couple of known issues though the main Grimex O2 elevator has two elevator carriages weird uh, L2 uh, Crusader L2 exterior elevator button do not function oh so don't go don't go to uh, crew L4 mining tool attachment will not equip after equipping uh, manually the PMA that's 3.11.1 3.11.1. Captain says, Howdy, how are you, Captain? The hammerhead elevator collides with the landing bay at Port Orlisar, causing the ship to move. Oh. Uh, restocking or missile slash torpedoes when storing and respawning the same ship uh, will have missiles missing. Ships landed at Lovia Nuba Beach cannot be stored. That's an old bug that has been uh, that's still that's building there for quite some time. The player can get their ships into an unknown status after abandoning it, uh, causing it to have an insurance loophole. I can confirm i've had that in 3.11 as well it's still there unfortunately the 11 the 100 series rain slush effects are moving backwards break out rock mining arc can snap out and place uh out of place upon re-entering the vehicle and uh yes and this is basically uh pushing uh, the uh, the vehicle uh, towards all directions if you have a, a small interior like a cutlass for example that's what's gonna happen uh arena commander loadout is still broken as of 10 minutes ago, says uh, Warren McKenzie. Uh, well, that's good to know. Apparently, it's not fixed. All right. Uh, yes, 3.11.1 is supposed to be there right now. Right now. Uh, running into the stairs of an Origin 100 series will cause the players to fall through the ground. You cannot re-enter the Cutlass ships if the ramp is damaged. Yep. Uh, fueling hydrogen first uh, can prevent you from refueling any fuel. And multiple heavy armor arms are, can partially obscure the Mobiglass item. We know that as well. Uh, yeah, the Mercury Star are now still looking around. Now they are obviously they are going to wait for the expo to reveal it unfortunately so yeah it's probably maybe going to be 3.11.1 but not now probably a later patch we've got an update on the rsi gunship and the official name is going to be the rsi perseus guys uh you have it first on the channel so uh in um, a couple of days we will be uh, probably learning more about it. Maybe they'll talk about it in Inside Star Citizen. It's obviously going to be a surprise comment, but uh, spoiler here uh, on the channel, you get it first here. It's going to be the RSI Perseus, that uh, that RSI gunship that we've heard about for quite some time. And that's all for this little update here regarding Star Citizen Alpha 3.11.1. Stay tuned to the channel, guys, because we are going to have a juicy Inside Star Citizen live breakdown episode, so uh, don't go anywhere.